prototype time. So this is what I call a slice. A slice is from some starting frame to some ending frame in a clip. When a slice is selected, like this one is, there are keyboard shortcuts that allow you to adjust the starting and ending frame. There's right arrow, left arrow, up arrow, down arrow, and these are frame accurate steps. Now there's four slices here in what I call a sequence. A sequence is gapless. Um, if you make adjustments to the starting or ending frames, if you add slices, remove slices, reorder slices, it never creates gaps. Time has really been removed as a metaphor at this step in the workflow because um, when you're working on you know, the real narrative part of the editing, where you're whittling the story down, you're constantly making these tiny adjustments. And it's also a point where time as a metaphor is pretty awkward because it slows you down. Um, one, of the, one of the ways in which it slows you, slows you down is you can get very small, difficult to deal with slices where you'd have to zoom in in order to grab them. And they might be next to larger slices that fill up the screen. Um, they get awkward because can't see what else you want to try to see. So these slices are presented uniformly regardless of their duration. So really what we're going for is a storyboard metaphor. And you can see with just this little bit of editing, the story really starts to come out. Like you can, you can see it like a storyboard. Um, I'm not sure what this story is about. Perhaps uh, it's a commercial for contraceptives, but there's definitely a story. Now, something that's not present in the prototype yet is we think it'd probably be a good fit to have a, a video playback, say right above the sequence, and you play it in a loop. So over and over, you watch it, you get a feel for the pace, the inflection points, and then you say, oh, I want to make a a little tiny change there, it's one frame off. It loops over again, you see it, you get a feel for it. Like, oh, I wanted to, you know, a little, a little more, you know, a little more drama at that point. Um, something else you can't do yet in the prototype, but you'll be able to drag slices out to remove them, drag new ones in to add them. Um, and this is an extremely efficient workflow for this part of the editing process. Now, of course, sometimes you need to be able to see this exact same thing in a traditional, in a traditional timeline. And one of the advantages with the very plastic approach we're taking to the user interface is we can take any workflow and give it a blank page. Um, there's no user interface elements that are always present. So you can take a workflow, fill the screen with it, and make it as fast as possible. And as, as you switch between these workflows, um, there's no awkward import or export. Um, it's just you know, the same information presented in a different way. This prototype is done with HTML5. So this is running in Chrome. And um, beneath this video, there'll be a link where you can download the um, basically files we're using for this prototype, and you can make your own versions, which we would love you to do because we want more people experimenting in parallel with these workflow problems. Um, you know, NovaCut's all about saving artists time so they can make more money, and NovaCut's all about building a tool through open dialogue with artists. We've been working on this a year, and the very first thing we did is start talking to artists. Um, we don't design in secret. We ask and we listen. Um, and we have the design focus to pull this off. So the one problem is we need a bit of help to keep doing this. So if you would like to see this exciting work, to con this exciting work continue, please go to kickstarter.com and search for Novacut. And if you can, help us out. 
And if you can't help us out, if you could just help spread the word, um, or if you could work on some some prototype creations with us, or give us some feedback, or um, uh, do screencasts with your favorite, you know, places where your current tools, you really love how they work and you want to preserve that. Um, get involved, because there's another way to do things and you don't have to be secretive. And especially if you have, say, $300 that you were expecting to spend and then maybe didn't, um, consider uh, helping out Novica with that, because um, you know you're you're investing in a in a tool that's being built for you, and that will be continued to main, be maintained for you. Open source, it's good stuff. So, Kickstarter, Novacut, prototypes, get involved. Yes. <laughs>